Hey guys, it's Rome. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very fun. We're not in the kitchen trying kitchen gadgets. Today we are in my home office and we are going to be trying some office gadgets. I went online and ordered 10 gadgets that are supposed to make your office life easier. So today we're going to be putting them to the test. I'm going to test them so that you guys don't have to and I'm hoping for some wins. And if you've been enjoying these types of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications notifications every time I post a new video. Now without further ado, I am so excited. Let's test our first office product. I saw it online, I had to assemble it, and it's a lot smaller than the picture. Let me show you. <laughs> Here it is. Blueberry Muffin loves it because it's a big ball. I spend a lot of time in the office, so I'm always looking for things that are supposed to be ergonomic, more comfortable, make your life easier. And this chair popped up. It says it's ergonomic, but I don't know. I don't know if they've done the research. Now I've seen people sit on like the big squishy balls. Let me show you guys. I have one. Look at this. I use this almost every day to work out. I work out my hammies on this. I do ab stuff, but they'll just sit at it instead of a chair like this. You know, while they're typing, it's supposed to help posture and things like that. I've never seen one of these balls in a chair. And I'm gonna post a picture right here because the chair looked a lot bigger. The ball looked a lot bigger. And when it showed up, look how teeny it is. The back feels a little low. The ball's actually comfortable, but the back is not. Let me get some work done. Also, I feel lower than my regular chair because usually I'm on here and my regular chair I'm much taller here. I'm shorter and it is not adjustable in height. This is what you get. I mean you're down here <laughs> Mike, come sit on this. Mike, my boyfriend, is six foot two. Let's see how this goes. Let me see. Okay. This is not comfortable. It's for not the person. worst thing in the world, but. I'm still pretty low though, I feel like. I guess it's okay. No, it's it's low. That's really low. I, like, try the big ball. Oh my gosh, Mike. I meant try it on the ground. <laughs> no, on the chair. Doesn't work. Doesn't work that way. So I paid $120. For this ball chair. I feel like I'd pay somebody $10 right now to take it. The things I don't like about it is that it can't adjust in height like a normal office chair. It can't go up or down and the back seems to be leaning forward just too much where I feel like I'm gonna fall out of it. And where you rest your arms here, it's just hard plastic and they're not very comfortable. This got a one out of five stars. One, because it is a chair. It's not a great chair, but it is a chair. The next product is a lot bigger than it looked online, and this one's pretty heavy. I'm having to rest it on my knee, but it's if you want to get some exercise when you're at your desk. It's an elliptical that actually goes underneath your desk. It is called the Desk Cycle, and it actually got really good reviews. It was about 200 bucks. It feels hefty. It feels really well made, so let's try it out. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I got it under the desk. I turned up the resistance. There's a little resistance knob at the bottom and you can go from one to eight. I've got it on eight. Oh, and I'm feeling the resistance. My legs are getting a little workout. This is my new favorite office product. I love this. The product itself is heavy enough so it's not moving. It's so quiet. It feels really well made. The only thing that I'm noticing is it really depends on what type of desk you have because these desks have a bar at the bottom and I would actually like to move it a little bit further forward but if you have a more standard desk where this bar doesn't exist and I can tuck my chair in just a little bit better to be more comfortable. And that's actually not the ellipticals fault that would be just the type of desk that I have in this office also the wheel in there is smaller so your legs aren't going really big up and down I can fit them very comfortably underneath the desk you can see they're hardly moving so Mike again is a much taller he's got way longer legs so Mike I'm gonna have you do this our foot size is very different and it still fits me so pretty cool Oh, here I am, you know, just working, just getting things done. Isn't it cool? I feel like if your chair is really rolly, it might kind of slide you back too far. But other than that, this thing really works. 
Reviews are in. I love this thing. It keeps track of how much time you've spent, how many rotations, the amount of calories that you're burning. And here's the gear right here where you can turn it up in resistance or down in resistance. Again, I love how quiet it is because if you're in an office where you've got to be quiet, people are taking phone calls and things, no one is going to hear this. I'm shocked because sometimes when you're testing gadgets, some things that look so silly end up not working very well and sometimes they are incredible and this is a gadget that is incredible. I love it, two thumbs up. So I love the last office gadget and if that one was out of your price range, this one is similar, it is an under the desk bike pedaler and it does some of the same things. It increases in resistance up here. It doesn't have a number, you just kind of have to guess here on this screen. It will show the same things like time, how long you've been doing this and Look at that, calories. Let's go try this. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Whoop, whoa. I got it, I got it guys, I'm gonna get it. These things that go above your foot are not adjustable. It isn't holding my foot in there. <laughs> this is awful. There's no weight to it, so it just keeps moving everywhere. Like it, <laughs> stop. Let's pretend I'm gonna do a little Zoom call, a business call while I'm doing this. Hey Larry, did we get those numbers in? Yeah, sounds great. Ow! <laughs> Your knees also go up a lot higher, so I've just hit my knee into the desk. And I have very short, small legs, so Mike, I don't even want you to try this. Oh, I'm ready. Let me in. <laughs> Mike, you really have to spread your legs open so you don't hit your knees. And I don't think this is the exercise. All right, let's scoot under the desk here. Okay, so you gotta be more like this. Like maybe this is like a lunch break. Or you feel like you're getting a good workout? Yeah, I mean, just uh, just cruising. The resistance isn't very high. It doesn't do anything. No, it's not a good workout. And the bottom of it has no weight, so it just keeps moving around. It's not worth the $50. I would say save your money and get the good one. Reviews are in, and this one is an absolute pass. It was less expensive than the other one, but it did not work at all. I didn't like that it was super lightweight, and it moved around underneath your desk. I didn't like the resistance. The resistance, even on its highest setting, wasn't that high. And it was really hard for me to get my feet in here. Save your money for the good one. This one is a pass. After those workouts, it's time to relax. I found this. It's a hammock for your feet. It's a desk hammock. I've never had one of these, but I know that it's supposed to be good for your lower back. Got these two metal clamps to attach on each end. In the picture they had, their desk was more of a table desk. Mine has a filing cabinet, so I'm gonna try to attach it like they did. So here goes nothing. I think it goes like that, and then you snap it on kind of the corner. Okay, wait, I'll go under here. If this will work. It's a bit low, so I'm gonna tighten it. Look at this, adjustable. All right, so I've just hung it. Now let's give it a test. I like that my feet don't even touch the ground. <laughs> let's see. Where? Okay, oh, this is nice. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> You guys got my rescue dogs here. I love this idea, it is so cool. And in their defense, you're supposed to put the clamps on the side of the desk, more like if you have a table desk, but because that's what I don't have, when you clamp them on the back, they don't hold up as well. But the fact that it does come off that easy still does have me concerned. I think there's ways they could have made this a little bit better. They did put a rubber tab right here for grip, which I really appreciate. And I think a secondary one at the bottom would have also helped for a little bit more surface tension. For example, what they do for heavy microphones that clamp to your desk is they have a little gadget at the top that tightens it. If they would have made that little adjustment, this could have worked on any type of desk. But for $19, this is a pass for me. For this next gadget, we're over here at Moe's desk. Hello. And that's because Moe eats a lot of crackers. Yeah. So this is a little gadget that's supposed to clean your desk. Is that, is that really gonna clean it? Mo loves goldfish crackers because she's pregnant right now. She's always munching on them. They're so good. They got the salt. They this got This is really what her on. desk looks like, usually. What? Oops. Don't waste them. I mean, let's not well, get let's them Let's get some floor. crummies too. Like, let's <clears throat> crunch them. See if they'll suck up the crumbs? Yeah. Your dogs want a little treat? Oh! 
Catch. Oh, oh my <laughs> teeth. Hold on, hold on. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. Yeah! All right, so let's try this. Now, this is supposed to be like a Roomba for your desktop. So let's spread them out. Okay. This is $15 and it has a very long name. Cute, portable, cartoon, mini, desktop, vacuum, desk. All right, let's, see if it holds let's, up to let's its turn name. this puppy on. Put her down. <laughs> Do you have to move it yourself? Oh, you move it? <laughs> I thought it was a Roomba and it would pick it up. Okay, this actually isn't too bad. I mean, it's not as fast as just sweeping them off yourself. Let's have a contest. Okay, here's my side and here's your side. And let's see who is faster at cleaning these up. Ready, set, go. Yeah. But it is faster just to wipe the crumbs. It's just a lot to store extra on the desk. I'd probably give it a pass. Oh, whoa! Yeah. How do you empty it? Uh, I just, oh. oh my gosh. I thought it was gonna be like a mini Roomba. It worked, but I don't think it makes my life any easier. I think just using your hand is faster and easier for me. You just gotta go find a new home. Yeah. The next product is another thing for cleaning your office. Now this is specifically for cleaning your office keyboard. Okay. You stick it on keyboards or it looks like the back of computers. Then you peel it up and it will get all the little crumbs or dust, anything hiding between these little nooks and crannies. Molly's got, as you can see, a lot of goldfish crumbs. This kind of a keyboard, the flatter ones, they're pretty easy to clean mm -hmm. because you usually just pick them up, flip them over, toss them in the trash. What does it smell like? Not good. It smells ah. like chemicals. Like lemony chemicals. Lemony chemicals, oh. like lemon pine salt. Make sure your hands are dry and clean. Take a piece of the cleaning gel, knead into a ball. Press the cleaning gel slowly onto the keyboard. Pull huh. the cleaning gel out and dust and debris will be carried away. So dust and debris. Okay. Roll it into a ball and then let's try to do your keyboard. Oh, well it worked. All the junk came out. Okay, it picked up most of them. Yeah, I think that's good. It okay. worked, but now let's really put this to the test. Now your computer, again, like I said, is really flat mm -hmm. style. Let's get Mike's keyboard. No. Everyone, I apologize in advance. Mike, I do not apologize for embarrassing you. Mike eats so many uh. snacks when he's gaming. His keyboard gets disgusting. Sometimes I just take it and shake it and just crumbs will be flying out of here. Okay, but, ready? Okay, ready? Let's get in there. You're supposed to go like, you know, cause they get gross and dusty between the keys, and oh. I'm gonna peel it out. And then it sh hey! Okay, this is working. I think I need a bigger piece. Get let me a bigger combine, piece. Let me combine these. These are way harder than the. Oh, look at that though. It can mold, it gets in between the cracks, it does get the dust out, but it smells terrible and it's awful. Getting to me. And how do you clean it? You just toss it. Well, that seems wasteful. Well, you know, you also have the air blasters. To... Oh yeah, the air blasters. Way better than yeah, this. Yeah, I, I take that any day over this. Ew. This was $10, which is like three air cans, okay? Just get yourself an air can. We'll be passing on this. You get no stars on Yelp. Zero. Next gadget is super cool because in this office we'd be opening mail every day. We All get letters and letters, letters and letters and letters. Okay, so this is what Molly uses on the daily, but I found this one online. It's supposed to do it for you. Okay, that's legit. Okay, for and that. it looks cool. And look how small it is. It, it's got a good weight to it and yeah. it can just sit on your desk. I have two envelopes, they're sealed shut. You push it all the way back and then it's supposed to work. Okay, let's try this, Molly. Okay. Oh, okay. That um, was fast. And it worked really well. Did we just find a win? I think so. I think this might be a new office that gadget. That cool. We're gonna do a little test. I've got two sealed envelopes here. We're gonna okay. do man versus machine. Okay. Molly's machine, a um, man. We're gonna see who can open the letter faster. On your mark, get set, go, go. Ah. Was that a tie? I mean, what was that? I mean, that was pretty close, but look how jagged yours is. Okay, okay. Compared to the pristine cut. I will say that there is a difference. We'll have to check the replay. I don't know who won. Let us know in the comments below when you're watching this, who won, <laughs> because we don't know. I will say Molly's 
clean, beautiful edge. Mine is a little jagged, but what do you think, Molly? You I'm actually the a most fan of that. Bad. I think I'm gonna keep this at my desk, actually. I'm keeping this. Okay, <laughs> then it's a win, you guys. This yeah. is a big fan, a Molly favorite. All right, Molly, I got one more for you. I think you're gonna like it. Okay, okay you'll get it. Well, this was a win. Now, my sister Molly loves post-its. She has them all the time for reminders, and mm -hmm. I found these. They're post-its that look like watches, and you put them around your wrist. Uh, to remind you to do something that day. Mm -hmm. Post-its are great because you can put them on your computer to remind you, but mm -hmm. what if you're moving around? What if we're like filming or, you know, we gotta run errands and you can't take your post-its with you, you can just put them on your wrist. <laughs> okay, two stacks, oh, one for you, one for stacks, me. two stacks, okay, okay. So I'm gonna write you a reminder. 12.30, call Mo. Okay, that's my reminder today. Can I use this? Funny, GIF to Molly. The sticky part just tore. Okay, and then you put it around like this. See, it's a little watch. These? Shoot, the stick on here is not great. I can't even close it. Let's write one for Mike. Feed dogs by flowers. At 7 p.m. Okay, Mike, come here. I got a reminder for you. No, I moved hey, my wrist I'll and it this. totally fell off. I'll have to put this on. It's it's not a good reminder. We gave these a go. I love the idea of them, but the sticky is not strong mm -hmm. enough. It doesn't stick to itself. It doesn't stick to anything. They tear at the top pretty easy. These were $10 that I can't get back. What time is it? It's time to See go in the recycling. I'm trying to give my $10 back. Uh, that, that would have been really oh. funny. This next gadget I thought might come in handy because we live in the valley, it gets really hot in California, especially in the summertime, and we like to know the temperature outside. That's true. We have these little temperature gauges that we leave around the house to know what's going on, but I thought this one is supposed to just plug into your computer. And not only, it's a fan to keep you cool, and it reads the temperature and the time. It's supposed to do all three of these things, so I thought, Molly, let's give it a go. It has the older USB, so Molly's got a little adapter for me. All right, here it goes, Molly. Shut up. Is this just an analog clock? Let me see. I'm gonna turn it this way and look at it, you guys. You could get it. Ow! <laughs> Shoot! It's 81 degrees now? I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's no way it's 81 here. I think it's saying it's 515. What I don't understand is that the clock is not correct. It's saying it's three hours ahead of time, but you're plugging it into the computer. Like, why can't it just like tap into the computer and see what time it is? Trying to change the time. So that's flashing. Oh, oh, oh there, there you go, there you go, there you go. You got it, Molly, you got it, Molly. Okay, it's it's 2.06. Tap and hold will change the time. Two, you're doing it. One. And there's a two. two. Hit set it again, it. hit it again to set it. Yes. Let's see if it Leave will remember. Leave for six seconds and the time will set. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven for good measure. Okay, Eight so I think measure. we're good now. I think we have the right time. Now we turn it on and off. What if you have to unplug it because we have to, you know, use one of these little dingles back here. Now let's see if it will remember the time. 86 degrees now. The time saved. The time saved. The temperature is There's wonky. No we don't like setting the time. And if you accidentally touch this, it actually hurts. Even though those little blades are made out of plastic, I had high hopes for this gadget and I don't love it. I don't love it either. I'll just take the fan. But I take a traditional fan, I guess, with like the protector over it so you can't. You don't hurt yourself. Yeah, okay, this one's a no. This one's a no. Here is the last office gadget that we're gonna be trying today. Now, when Mo and I are in the office a lot, we're always looking at YouTube videos or watching shows, getting ideas for fun recipes or foods or content, so this is to enlarge your phone screen. I like the smaller size phone because it actually fits in my pocket, but when I'm watching something, I'm like, maybe I want the screen to be bigger. I gotta see the details. And it's like, do you get this or do you just get a tablet? Let's see. Oh, it says enlarge 3D mobile phone. <laughs> Are there instructions? You put the phone back here, it has like little suction cups. I think you put it back up there. Against I the think suction. that you're supposed to keep it on here and it can't hit here because I have my pop socket. Okay, we're gonna watch your gender reveal. This is terrible. This it looks is pixelated. Awful. It's so pixelated. And it's stretched out on the sides. Okay, you guys, come this take a look. Not, this is not good. It's terrible. It's like worse than like a $2 magnifying glass. <laughs> 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 it does 
magnify the image, but I already have a headache because it's not even, it's warped mm. around the edges, like a really weird lens. And you can see the texture on the screen and it looks so weird and terrible. You have to be on the same level. Mm -hmm. Like you can't have it sitting here and watch it. You have to get down. You and, have to be like at the same level. And you level. even have to be centered with it. Like you can't be a little bit off. You have to be like mm -hmm. in a very specific spot for yeah. it to even look mildly in focus and in focus doesn't look in focus. This is a hard pass. <laughs> I don't know who started selling this, but this does not work at all. I thought you plug it in and like Project it pops up on the like screen a, or yeah, something. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be way more high tech than this, no. and I'm really disappointed. This is probably the worst that we've tested. This one is going to be a no. I think it would be better to just get a tablet or just watch on your phone and you won't get a headache. This was $17. Okay, that has to be like an 800,000% markup from how much it cost to yes. make it. Yes, I think what they're making on the margins of this, because I mean, I'm gonna show you guys. It's so clumsy and you can see the texture on the magnifying glass. Like it's it's ribbed, like texture. And that's what you see when you're watching it. I really want my mind back for this one. This is no good. All right, that does it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. We tested office gadgets so you don't have to. I think my absolute favorite gadget today, it really surprised me, was the under the desk workout, the elliptical machine. It was high quality. It actually worked really, really well. And also for small gadgets, my sister loved the little letter opener. So those were the two big wins today for her and I. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this silly video. And if you liked it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up click subscribe it's free and ring the bell to receive notifications every time i post a new video and if you have any other ideas for any other videos you'd like to see let me know in the comments down below also let me know down below if you would buy any of these gadgets all right thanks again bye bye and if you'd like to watch any other videos you can click up here or up here